Hey makers, this is Ruvin, and in this episode, I'm going to talk about the newly rolled out feature for Dataverse and Power Automate. Now, similar like SharePoint, in Dataverse as well, we have an option for a selected item trigger. So let's say for an example, this is my model driven application available over here. And over here, you can see that this is the one of the record I do have over here. Let's say I'm selecting this record and clicking on the flow option from the top corner. And over here, you will be able to see the run option available. So whichever flow which you have created with this particular table, and if you want to trigger it manually, always from the model driven interface, you can run that stuff. So now let's explore this feature in detail over here with me. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. So first of all, let me explain you the use case over here. So here I do have one of the Dataverse table called JSON file reads. And over here I am storing two information. One is title and another is file. Now what I want to achieve here is whenever I am clicking on for a selected item, let's say I am clicking on select and clicking on this flow option. Basically, I need to do some processing on my file. The file contains JSON data, which I want to read that inside my Power Automate. So how can I achieve this kind of use case? Sometimes you have a requirement as well, like let's say for an example, you have model driven application and let's say you want to send some of the data to via some custom connector to your third party system. So at that time as well, you can use the same trigger for yourself for a selected item and this will trigger only when you select that record and uh, open the flow and run the flow from here. Okay. So now let's get started by creating this type of flow from scratch. To start with, I'm creating a new flow and I'm creating instant cloud flow from here. Let's click on skip and let's start creating the flow. So over here, let me search for the trigger Microsoft Dataverse. When you search for the trigger, you will be able to see this option. Now remember one thing, right now in the modern interface, this option is not visible. For that, make sure you turn that to the classic designer. So I am turning this to my classic designer. Now it turned to classic designer and let's search for Microsoft Dataverse. And over here from this option, you can see the new trigger is available. And the trigger is when a row is selected. Using this trigger, you can perform this stuff. So let's say for an example, I'm selecting this trigger. Here, you need to supply the name of the table. So let's say for an example, my table name is JSON read data. So let's pick up that JSON file reads. And this is what my table name. Now, whenever you are using this kind of trigger, it will always provide you the GUID for the selected item and using that you can perform any action. So let's say for an example, in my case, I want to uh, download that file. So I can simply use Microsoft Dataverse and I can simply download that file, download a file or an image because that file is something I need to parse as a JSON. Okay. So download a file or an image. That's what I want. I will select the same table over here. So let me just use the JSON file reads and then you can supply the row ID. So row ID is again, we will get always from the above action. So when a record is selected, it will give you all the information like what was the user ID, who, who is the person who has triggered that st uh, stuff, user's email, timestamp, OData ID. Okay. Everything it will provide you over here for yourself. So let me search the same name of the table, which is my JSON read table. And that is something which will give you the unique identify of the record. So this action is returning me this value for us. So let's just pick that and we are getting that. And from there, I just need to download my file. And after that, I can perform whatever operation I wanted to do here. Okay. Let's say for an example, you want to convert that file to base 64 and then decode that URL and you want to parse JSON, anything which you can do here. Okay. But this is the main goal of this video. Basically, I just wanted to explain you this specific action because this is the new action which is available nowadays. 
So after that, I just take one compose action and what I'm doing here is I'm just converting uh, my uh, overall file because this action download a file or an image. This is giving me a result in terms of file. So I'm just converting my file to my base 64 over here. So this is what I have written as a formula over here. This is just my use case. Okay. That's why I'm not going into too much detail, but main idea is the action. Okay, and then I'm just decoding my base 64 over here. And after that, at the end, I'm just parsing my overall JSON for here. Okay, so this is what I'm doing here with this new trigger. All right. And after that, let's say for an example, if I need to send this JSON via API, I can trigger that as well. So it's up to you because you know now Power Automate well. So at least for yourself, this one trigger is something which you need to understand. Now let's have a look and see how we can run this flow and to run this flow let's go to the model driven application and let me just go back from here okay and now what i'm doing here is i'm just selecting this item from here click on the flow option from the top corner and you can see that whatever flow you have saved it will be available underneath the run section and now you can simply click on parse json and this will start running this flow so this will open up this kind of pop-up for you. You can see that it is showing the owner name as my name. And you can see that uh, this flow uses Microsoft Dataverse. And here you have an option run flow and cancel. Let's click on run flow from here. Here I'm just clicking on that and you can see that your flow successfully run and to monitor go to the flow run page. So when you click on that it will directly redirecting you to the run page from here. And from there you can see the run history and you can see that 12 seconds ago it executed successfully. Let me just open this flow. And you can see that when a record is selected, this is how it looks like. And this is how the entire output you are getting over here. Okay, so uh, when it triggered, this is basically it is passing uh, as an output and this is what we supplied as an input. Okay, and then even if you look at uh, more stuff, uh, it will download the file. After that, it just uh, convert to base64, then decode the URL and then at the end, it will just parse the JSON. Okay, okay. So that's the overall idea about when a record is selected trigger in the dataverse hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram looking for any training or paid consultation all the links are available in the description box visit my website and check the latest training programs over there with this this is Dhruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day. Goodbye.